Good morning friends, I am Dr. Indranil Roy. I am a dentist in Dubai. My specialization is oral and maxillofacial surgery and dental implantology. Today I am making this video uh, to cover the topic of platelet rich fibrin uh, or PRF uh, because there are uh, so many different protocols and the terms that I will be covering are PRF, APRF, IPRF, CGF and AFG. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll also be showing a small procedure, uh, the procedure pictures. So uh, if uh, you have uh, already these protocols figured out, so you can skip to that part of the video. The full form of PRF is platelet-rich fibrin and uh, I would uh, like to thank Dr. Chakroon for uh, uh, bringing this uh, topic to the fore and uh, making it so lucid for all of us. Uh, Dr. APRF, the full form is advanced PRF and IPRF, the full form is injectable PRF. <coughs> so, Dr. Chakroon advises uh, to uh, use his uh, PRF centrifuge or platelet-rich fibrin centrifuge uh, which has various uh, specific functions and uh, buttons and makes, makes uh, life very easy. Uh, for somebody who's starting out. Uh, I would also advise to do his course uh, uh, for uh, people who want to learn his uh, platelet rich fibrin or PRF uh, protocol which are very specific. So the fibrin clot uh, it releases growth factors for a period of 14 to 18 days and uh, that causes vessel in growth and in turn wound healing which is the main aim. Uh, so uh, the whole uh, thing is that platelets they uh, give out growth factors only after clotting so that's why it's so important to avoid anticoagulants now uh, P what is prp prp the full form is platelet rich plasma and uh, you need anticoagulants to uh, make that so that's the major uh, uh, advantage that prf has uh, is you don't need any anticoagulants and another difference is uh, uh, this platelet rich plasma is uh, uh, first generation of platelet concentrate and uh, it releases the growth factors immediately uh, after injecting so here comes the second advantage that uh, platelet rich fibrin uh, it gives a slow release of growth factors uh, over a period of 14 to 18 days so that's why in my practice I mainly use PRF and that's the reason why I am speaking about PRF more than uh, PRP. Uh, so what we do is we collect blood in vacutainers. The vacutainer has to be specific. It, it's usually a red cap tube. Uh, the tube can be a glass tube or a, pla a silica coated plastic tube. <coughs> so. Uh, once the uh, blood is collected, uh, you uh, you take it in the red tube and you uh, for APRF, the centrifugation speed is 1300 uh, RPM for 8 minutes and for IPRF it is 700 RPM for 3 to 4 minutes based on whether the patient is a male or a uh, female. So uh, the whole question arises how do you make sticky bone there are three or four different ways to make sticky bone the first is that uh, in this red tube uh, uh, that in which you will be making aprf you take four red tubes and you put it in the centrifuge and instead of eight minutes you uh, uh, just run it for five minutes at the speed of 1300 rpm and re you remove two out of the four tubes these two tubes what happens in these two tubes is that the liquid uh, liquid aprf comes on top so then you can just aspirate it with a 2 cc syringe and spray it on any bone graft and it takes about a minute to form sticky bone another thing which i forgot to mention was that what does the silica do in um, uh, in the test tube the silica it activates the clotting cascade while you spin the blood down in the centrifuge so obviously uh, it will help to form the aprf now after this as soon as you remove two tubes out of the four after five minutes 
you spin the other two tubes which are remaining in the centrifuge for three more minutes and so those last two tubes will be uh, spun for total 1300 rpm for eight minutes and uh, so uh, the the second way how you can make sticky bone is you run the centrifuge directly till eight minutes remove all four test tubes you would have gotten the aprf uh, uh, you cut the aprf uh, uh, part from the red cell part and put it in your prf container and press it with the lid for two minutes once you press it with the lid what happens is that you get a thin aprf membrane and the at the bottom of the tube you get a residue which contains fibronectin and vitronectin so uh, you take any one one of the membranes of APRF, you cut it down horizontally, you mix it with any bone graft and you add this residue and that's it, you wait for a minute and that's your sticky bone. That's the second way and the third way is the longest way where you make IPRF. Uh, IPRF is uh, in the orange uh, cap tube uh, which you can acquire from Dr. Uh, Chakroon's kit and uh, you can just take that in a syringe, spray it on any bone graft, wait for 15 to 20 minutes and that uh, again makes your sticky bone. I've done that and it works. So uh, uh, th this, this is how you make uh, sticky bone. It's uh, not very difficult if the correct protocols are uh, followed. Now the confusion comes that what is uh, CGF and AFG? CGF is concentrated growth factors and AFG is uh, autogenous fibrin glue. Uh, CGF was developed by uh, Soko et al. So uh, the centrifugation speed is different, 2800 rpm for 12 to 14 minutes. Uh, and uh, it, it gives you uh, the CGF membrane at the end of it. Uh, while you do that in the first two minutes, you stop the centrifuge and you aspirate out the AFG, which is the fibrin glue. You spray that on bone graft and that's your sticky bone again. So uh, there is no need to confuse all this. It's just that the protocols are different. Protocols of uh, PRF and dentistry are uh, different. and. Uh, I would not say the end result and the products are the same. Uh, that's what I'm going to talk about now. So uh, uh, now uh, APRF can be used, uh, APRF and IPRF I have used in my practice with a lot of success and it can be used, uh, even Dr. Chakroon has recently come out with an article of uh, platelet rich uh, fibrin in regenerative dentistry. It's a good read. Uh, PRF uh, use also in periodontics, uh, it has a lot of use, uh, it can be used both for soft tissue and hard tissue. I have used it for patients who uh, want uh, to get implants done for horizontal and vertical uh, ridge defects, uh, for uh, uh, gingival recession cases instead of a connective tissue graft, it gives beautiful results. Uh, and uh, of course you have to inject with IPRF in the end, uh, then sinus lifts, sin sinus augmentation, then uh, uh, use of sticky bone in that, ridge splits and many other uses are there. So now I will show one case uh, which in which uh, we after placing the implant there was a buckle defect and uh, we made uh, APRF uh, using the second technique uh, uh, and we cut that membrane and mixed it with bone graft and added the residue from the bottom of the PRF container and uh, we got a good result. So uh, that's about it. I think I've covered whatever uh, uh, I wanted to and uh, if there are any questions, please uh, let me know. Um, I would like to answer them. Uh, hope uh, I have helped uh, somebody understand PRF slightly better because none of the videos exactly show you uh, what needs to be done. Uh, 
uh, in your clinical setup. Uh, take care and good luck with PRF.